Hello YouTube, this is Gamer Fanatic here. In today's video, I'm going to be pretty much speaking my thoughts and how the competitive Call of Duty could change and how Battlefield 1 could start doing uh, competitive events. So let's get started, guys. So the reason why I'm mainly making this video is because if you haven't heard, is that Infinite Warfare is the most disliked gaming trailer in history and Battlefield 1 is the most liked gaming trailer in history. Which is pretty crazy thinking about it because people kept saying they wanted boots on the ground for the next Call of Duty and they did not come out with a boots on the ground Call of Duty other than I guess you could say COD 4 Remastered. But Battlefield 1 has been sticking with what they've always done and it's boots on the ground and now you can see what the audience is pretty much telling the companies what they wanted. And I think the competitive Call of Duty could change because Battlefield 1 could possibly phase in like competitive uh, events and stuff like that. Which would be pretty awesome judging by that they're just having a large fan base and so much likes on their trailer and everything that maybe they could start doing that. That would be really, really cool. And I don't know if you ever heard about this but I was watching Octonade Shot and he ended up saying that back in Battlefield 4 they had a rumor going on that there was going to be a competitive event and a lot of the COD players actually hopped on Battlefield and were practicing a lot just to get ready for the event which was only a rumor though and it never actually was true so it didn't actually happen but just the fact that the COD players were actually hopping on Battlefield just to play just to practice for a competitive event means that there is a competitive scene in Battlefield and they should actually try it out and see how it goes now one thing I'm gonna worry about is that PlayStation actually signed a contract with Activision for all PS4 users get the DLC a month early for COD which I thought was really 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 cool but now I'm thinking that Microsoft actually knew this that knew that COD was falling and that's why they actually signed with Battlefield so any player on the Xbox one gets all the Battlefield DLC a month early which kind of makes sense now why this might might have happened and I just hope this doesn't hurt PS4 or Sony period in any way Anyways guys, this is my little like rant type thing speaking on my thoughts. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like or maybe you know comment your opinion below and what you think. This is Gamer Fanatic here and peace out.